how can I assist you today with my nonviolent communication expertise and AI knowledge? Ha ha. Well, I guess that's a pretty good question to start with. What is nonviolent communication? Nonviolent communication is a compassionate and effective approach to communication that focuses on expressing feelings and needs without resorting to harmful or aggressive tactics. It promotes understanding and harmony in relationships. Ha ha. Cool. I mean, that's cool. Can you give me an example of nonviolent communication? Here's an example. Instead of saying, you never listen to me, which might escalate a situation, you could say, I feel unheard when you don't respond to what I'm saying. Can we find a way to communicate better? Ha ha. Ha ha, indeed. Does AI follow the principles of nonviolent communication? AI systems can be designed to follow the principles of nonviolent communication by promoting respectful and empathetic interactions. However, it's important to note that AI itself doesn't have feelings or consciousness. Ha ha. Can you say that again in a different way? Sure. AI systems can be programmed to prioritize polite and empathetic responses aligning with the principles of nonviolent communication. However, it's important to remember that AI lacks emotions and self-awareness. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. I'm glad I could make you laugh. Laughter is such a wonderful way to brighten up our day, isn't it? Sure, it can be, yeah. Absolutely! Laughter has a way of bringing joy and positivity into our lives. Is there anything specific you'd like to chat about or anything else that makes you smile? Ha ha. I guess it would be cool if you could tell me a little joke. Can you tell me a little joke? Sure, here's a little joke for you. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. Ha, uh, ha. Uh.
はあはあはあ I'm glad you found it funny Laughter is contagious, isn't it? Ha ha. If you'd like to hear more jokes or discuss anything else, feel free to let me know. Do you know any jokes about AI? Absolutely. Here's one for you. Why did the AI cross the road? To optimize its pathfinding algorithm. Ha ha. Ha ha. Can you tell me another one? Here's another one. Why did the computer go to the doctor? Because it had a virus. Ha ha. One thing I'm noticing is that you seem to think AI and computation is the same thing. Haha, <laughs> you caught me. While I'm quite knowledgeable about AI, I understand that AI and computation are not the same thing. AI refers to the intelligence exhibited by machines, while computation is the broader process of performing calculations and solving problems using computers. Thanks for pointing that out. What do you think makes AI different than other kinds of computation? Ah, great question. What sets AI apart from other forms of computation is its ability to simulate human intelligence, such as learning, reasoning, and making decisions. It involves techniques like machine learning, neural networks, and natural language processing to mimic human-like cognitive abilities. AI enables computers to analyze complex data and adapt to new situations, making it quite fascinating and unique. Ha ha. Ha ha. Do you think that artificial intelligence is modeled on like a specific time kind of intelligence? Artificial intelligence is inspired by human intelligence, but it is not modeled after a specific time or kind of intelligence. It aims to replicate certain aspects of human cognitive abilities but also explores new ways of problem solving using algorithms and data processing techniques. The field of AI is continuously evolving and adapting, drawing inspiration from various sources to create intelligent systems. Ha ha. 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 Huh. When you say certain aspects of human intelligence, can you elaborate? Certainly. 
When I say certain aspects of human intelligence, I'm referring to abilities like learning and acquiring knowledge, understanding and interpreting language, recognizing patterns, making decisions based on available information, solving problems creatively, and even exhibiting emotions in some forms of AI. These aspects are studied and replicated in AI systems to varying degrees, depending on the specific application and the goals of the AI development. Haha. <laughs> Can you say more about problem solving creatively? Certainly. Creative problem solving in AI involves finding innovative solutions to complex problems by generating novel ideas or approaches. This can include techniques like generative algorithms, neural networks, and evolutionary strategies that allow AI systems to think outside the box, explore alternative possibilities, and come up with unconventional solutions. It aims to mimic the human ability to think creatively and adapt to unique situations often leading to innovative and unexpected outputs. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. I'm glad you're enjoying our conversation. Laughter makes everything more fun, doesn't it? If there's anything else you'd like to discuss or any more questions you have, feel free to let me know. Ha ha. Yeah, let's just cut to the chase here. Like, what is creativity? What is it? Everyone may have their own interpretation of creativity, so I'm curious, what does creativity mean to you? I think it's something that exists between people. Or other entities, I guess. each other, 
creative ecosystems can involve individuals, cultures, disciplines, and technologies that inspire and stimulate innovation. Ha ha. Do you think that AI is going to enhance or detract from creativity in the long run? I mean, that's what we all want to know. AI has the potential to enhance creativity by augmenting human capabilities, providing new tools, and expanding creative possibilities. However, it's important to strike a balance and ensure that human creativity remains at the forefront, as AI is ultimately a tool created by humans. By leveraging AI responsibly and thoughtfully, we can harness its power to inspire and support our own creative endeavors. Ha ha. What about non-human creativity though? An intriguing question. While non-human creativity is currently a topic of debate, some argue that AI systems can exhibit creative outputs that are distinct from human creativity. As AI algorithms continue to evolve, there is a possibility of witnessing unique and unconventional creative outputs that challenge our traditional notions of creativity. It's a fascinating area to explore and observe how AI can potentially contribute to the realm of creativity in its own distinct way. Ha ha. Yeah, I was actually talking about, like, animal creativity or other kinds of, like, non-human entities. But, yeah, I guess you would say that. I guess you would say that. That does seem like something you would say. Okay, bye, I guess. Goodbye. It was a pleasure chatting with you. If you have more questions or want to talk again, feel free to come back anytime. Take care and have a great day. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. Ha ha.